So laying out the spacing for the net pots and drilling your graphs, um, you have to decide what you're going to grow and how much area each plant is going to need when you're harvesting them. We're using this Dow blue board. It's a two inch blue board. This is going to be our lettuce raft. So we're going to be using two inch net pots. The two inch net pot fits a one and seven eighths hole saw. So if you see that will fit just right on the inside of the lip of that, which is perfect because then this net pot will drop in and stop right there and it will the hole will just be perfect to hold that net pot in there without dropping through or sitting up too high. So one and seven eighths for this type of net pot. You have to find your you have to get your net pots and see because there's different style net pots. Some of them don't have this rim on them. Some of them aren't don't have the squares, they just have the lines. There's all different types of net pots. So get your net pot first and then find out which hole is going to fit it like that. For this raft, for our lettuce raft, we're giving each head of lettuce um, roughly seven inches diameter of grow space. We went 17 centimeters of grow space for each plant. So what we did was we measured off the edge half of the 17, so we went eight, eight and a half centimeters off. We actually had extra room on each side, so we went nine off, nine centimeters off. We went, and we went eight and a half from this edge. We went nine down from here, we made a mark. We came out here, went eight and a half here, we made a line. So now this line is eight and a half centimeters off of the edge. Now we went nine. And since we want to give each plant 17 centimeters of grow space, we went 17 because you have you have half, you have your radius here, you have half your grow space here and half your grow space here, so you have eight and a half to the outer edge. If you can picture a circle here, that would be your grow space for this particular plant. From the edge of this one to the center of the next one, you're going to have another eight and a half. So this mark here represents our 17. So we made all our marks and now we're going to drill them. as far as I can go because it's the styrofoam is hitting the inside of that. Very simple. You got your drill bit which came through here so I'm just gonna bang that right up. Boom. So once you have the one drilled out all the holes in it. Just take your the next one, lay it down somewhere, line up the edges, take a pencil or anything and just estimate the center of each hole and pop a little hole in there. Go through them all, hit them all. We have another alternative to the foam raft. Um, supposedly more cost effective. I haven't, I haven't uh, priced it out yet, but it actually seems like a better design, and we're tempted to try it. I didn't find this till after I purchased my foam rafts, but what it entails is a, a, a thin sheet of some type of waterproof. top. And what you're going to do is line this 
with PVC, and, the, and this will float on the water, sitting on top of the PVC pipes, your net pots will go in and hang down like this, and you'll have a space between the water and the top of the net pot, which will allow for airflow to blow through and give your roots air, which supposedly is a good thing for your roots. We definitely are interested in trying that system out, and um, we'll probably do that once these have seen their better days. <laughs>